This is a tutorial on transforming functions. Transforming functions are easy shortcuts to graphing functions. And the first transformation we're going to do is a vertical transformation. So here we're given the equation in the graph of y is equal to 1 half times x. This is what we call our parent function because every function we're going to graph after that is similar to this function. So say we wanted to graph y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. This is the same as our parent function except we've added 2. So let's graph it and see what it looks like. Here we're going to start at our y-intercept of 2, which will be right here. And then we're going to move up 1 and over 2. That's our rise or run, or that's our slope. So we'll end up with a point right about there. And we'll connect the dots. And we end up with a line that looks like that. Say we wanted to graph y is equal to 1 half x minus 2. Again, it's exactly the same as our parent function, except we're subtracting 2 from our parent function. So to graph it, we would go to negative 2, because that's our y-intercept, which is right there. And we would go up 1 and over 2, because that's our rise or run, and that's our slope. So we'd get another point right there. And then we would connect the dots, and we'd get a line that looks like that. Well, let's look at these lines. And you'll notice that they have the same slope, so they're parallel lines. And because we've added 2, every point on our y is equal to 1 half x plus 2 is just 2 higher than our parent function. And then when we subtracted 2, every point is just 2 less than our parent function. So an easy way to graph y is equal to 1 half x plus 4 would be to go to our parent function and pick some points in our parent function and then just move up 4. So if we start here at our origin and went up 4, we'd get a point right here. And then if we came to say here and went up 4, we'd get a point about there. Really you could pick any point in your parent function and move in the y direction 4 because we're adding 4 and we would draw our line, which when we connect the dots would look something like this. So to perform a vertical transformation of a parent function, all you do is add or subtract to the end of the function, or change the y-intercept. The next type of transformation we're going to do is reflecting a function. And when we reflect a function, we basically take the slope which in this equation is 2, and we multiply it by negative 1. So if we reflected y is equal to 2x, our line would be y is equal to negative 2x. So let's graph that and see what it looks like. Our y-intercept is 0, so again we're back here at the origin, and then we would go down 2 and over 1, and get our next point, and then we would connect the dots, and our function would look like that. Now notice that this function that we've just drawn is almost exactly the same as our first function, except it's mirrored or reflected across the y-axis. So every point here is just the negative of the other point. So here we have 1, 2, and then here we have negative 1, 2. And this is reflected across our y-intercept. So let's try the next one and see what happens. Here we have y is equal to negative 3x plus 4. Well, if we reflect it, we just take our slope out, negative 3, and we multiply it by negative 1, so we'll end up with a slope of 3. So we'll end up with y is equal to 3x plus 4. Now to reflect this, 
we stay at our y-intercept because that doesn't change, it's still four. And then every point that's positive will go to negative. So here we have a point that's one, one. Well then we reflect it across the y-axis, we'll have the point negative one, one. And then here we have the point two, negative two. So on our reflected graph, we would end up with the point negative two, negative two. And then we'll connect the dots and we end up with a function that looks like that. Again, it's very similar to our original function. The y-intercepts are the same, but then it's just treat like y like it's a mirror and it's just reflected on the other side of the y-axis. Now the next type of transformation is a rotation. To rotate our function, we take our parent function and we just change the slope. So here we have a y is equal to 2x again. And if we change the slope and make it y is equal to 3x and we graph it, again we have our y-intercept at 0 and we could go up 3 and over 1 and we would end up with a graph that looks like this. Now because we increased our slope to 3, our graph is now steeper, as shown by the red line. So let's try the next one. Here we have y is equal to negative 3x plus 2. Let's change our slope to be negative 2x plus 2, and let's see what the graph looks like. We go, we stay at 2, which is our y-intercept, and then we're going to go down 2 and over 1, which is our slope or our rise over run, and we get a graph that looks kind of like this. Notice that our graph continues to rotate around our y-intercept, and all that changes when we change our slope is the steepness. So now that we know how to do a vertical translation, a reflection, and a rotation transformation, let's try combining them. Here we're asked to transform y is equal to 2x into y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. So to go from 2x to negative 2x plus 3, we're going to do two different types of transformations. First, we're going to reflect because our slope originally is 2 but we're changing it to a negative 2. So to do the reflection, we're just going to reflect all of our points across the y-axis. So here we have the point 1, 2. So we will reflect it across the y-axis and we'll have negative 1, 2. Down here we have negative 1, 2 and we're going to reflect it to 1, negative 2. And then we'll connect the dots and we'll get a graph that looks something like that. And now that we have the reflection, we basically have the graph of y is equal to negative 2x. So now we have to find this plus 3. So we're going to do a vertical transformation and we're just going to add 3. Well, to do a vertical transformation, all you do is take several points on our line, which now we're dealing with our red line, and you would move up three. So let's start at the origin, because there's a valid point, and we'll move up three to right there. Here we have the point one, negative two. Let's move up three from there. And then let's connect the dots, and we'll have a graph that looks something like that. This blue line is our graph of y is equal to negative two x plus three. And that completes our multiple transformations of y is equal to 2x